Corleone is a small town where everyone knows everything, especially people like Michele Navara and Luciano Leggio. Navara was the local mafia boss of Corleone just after the Second World War. And he was different from the rest of his clan. First of all, he was a member of the middle class. And secondly, he had a chance of graduating as a doctor, a general practitioner. However, despite having a more sophisticated background, Michele Navara, who was feared and respected by everyone in that village, and even to the extent of being addressed as Our Father, was no saint and was notorious for using violence as a way of solving problems. As an example, Navara once injected a lethal dose of poison into the arm of a 12-year-old boy who had the misfortune of being an involuntary witness to a murder committed by Navara himself. Well, I guess that is a bit of a violation of the medical oath of first do no harm, don't you think? On the contrary, over those years when Rina was a simple thief, Luciano Leggio wasn't just a boss, but simply one of the many picciotti, or soldiers in the Navarra's army, with one peculiarity. Well, actually two. The first, he was extremely ambitious. And the second, Leggio had come across three young boys, understanding their massive potential and the degree to which they were willing to go to get out of poverty. Obviously, those three boys were Rina, Bagarella and Provenzano. Three young kids, but smart and determined to get out of poverty at all costs. And notably, Rina and Provenzano were able and effective at committing murder, which, as you can imagine, is a sought-after skill in the world of crime. Now, Rina's uncle, Giacomo, happened to also be a man of honour and supported Rina's induction into the Mafia, or, as they called it back then, the Cosa Nostra. Now, this crime syndicate was mostly involved in cigarette smuggling, robberies and extortion. But with the increased amount of investment being made to rebuild Italy after the war, the area of significant growth was that of public contracts. So the Corleone family, led by Navarra, was eager to find talented young members because it had been significantly weakened during fascism and the Second World War. And it was slowly rebuilding its power, thanks also to Angelo Di Carlo, cousin of Navarra, who had been a US Marine during the war and Vincenzo Colura, both of whom had emigrated to the United States in the 1920s in an attempt to escape that poverty. And they'd returned with some wealth and a burning desire to rebuild. However, when Leggio seemed to have found reliable guys to expand his personal operations, Salvatore Rina was called out of the game due to a murder committed un in unknown circumstances. In fact, the reason why Domenico Di Matteo was killed by Irina has never actually been fully clarified. According to some sources, this was his initiation test to become affiliated to the Sicilian Mafia, whilst in some other sources explain that the murder was the consequence of a fight between Irina and Di Matteo about a girl. Whatever the reason, Irina was the first to take out a gun and kill the other guy in cold blood. Sentenced to 12 years in jail, Rina only spent five behind bars for the murder, and from 1955 onwards, he was back in the pack at the orders of Luciano Leggio. Ultimately, the name of Rina started to become popular in Corleone, after he killed Domenico Di Matteo, and his reputation as a cold-blooded killer started to circulate fast. Luciano Leggio, as well as Bernardo Provenzano and Cologero Bagarella, understood that Rina had a talent as a criminal, and if they wanted to rise to power, Rina was the right man at the right time in the right place. So after five years in jail, Rina was no longer a child, and he was a fully grown man with high levels of confidence and incredible ambition. He was fully aware that he only needed the right support and the right people to climb the hierarchy of the Sicilian Mafia. Those four criminals were tailored one on each other. It was somewhat of a very complimentary dream team in crime. So the rest will be covered in our upcoming videos, which we do encourage you to keep an eye on. So there you have it, and I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up. Let's have your views in the comments section below. As always, we love to see them and we do read them. And don't forget, of course, to subscribe to the channel. Until then, we'll see you soon with more videos. Take care.